you'd have to try really hard to forget the gorgeous Varla in Russ Myers' film Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. That's because she was played by Tura Satana, and one has to look around to find a woman as stunning as she was. But did you know she had an onset affair against her director's orders? Join Facts First to learn about Tura Satana's unique life and career path. Tura Satana was born July 10, 1938, in Hokkaido, Japan. Her birth name was Tura Luna Pasquale Yamaguchi. Her father was a prominent Japanese film actor, though he was ethnically Filipino. Her mother was a circus performer of Scotch-Irish and Cheyenne background. This unique ethnic mix is what gave Tura her unique and beautiful look. It was her beautiful face that drew men in. As she grew older, her gorgeous physique drew men in, and her particularly large bust was a part of her incredible sex appeal. At a young age, Tura and her family moved to the U.S., where her mother was originally from. During the Second World War, she and her father were placed in Manzanar internment camp. As her mother wasn't Japanese, Tura and her father were kept in the internment camp, and Tura wasn't allowed to see her mother until the end of the war. Following the end of the war, the family moved to Chicago. Tura recalled in various interviews that she grew up in a multiracial neighborhood, and name-calling and fights were a huge part. She became used to hearing racial epithets hurled at her and would get into fights on the way to school and on the way back. One of the most horrific incidents in her life happened before her 10th birthday. She was walking home from school when she was kidnapped and later sexually assaulted by five men. These men were never punished for their crime, and the incident naturally haunted Tura for her life. But her father raised her to be tough and decided she needed to learn how to fight so she wouldn't experience such horrors again. She studied martial arts, including karate and aikido. It's reported that as an adult, she hunted down those men and gave them a thrashing they deserved. As she grew older, she often got into trouble as she formed a gang with many of the local girls from the neighborhood. She had a brief marriage during her teens, which her parents arranged for her. She left her husband after only nine months. She spent a few months in Los Angeles when she was 15 to try her luck at burlesque dancing. Naturally, she had a fake ID and somehow managed to fool the clubs. She also appeared as a model briefly, and some of her photos were used in a Harold Lloyd film. She returned to Chicago and became an exotic dancer at Club Rendezvous. It's reported she even had a brief relationship with Elvis Presley, who saw her dance one night. She gained a reputation as a beautiful and talented exotic dancer and soon began traveling the country to perform. Harold Lloyd was particularly fond of her and encouraged her to pursue a career in cinema. Before we tell you more about Tura Satana's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Tura's Acting Career Adopting the stage name Tura Satana, she decided to pursue a film career as the 60s approached, and she couldn't have chosen a better time. Films that revolved around sexuality were becoming more popular during that decade, and a buxom beauty like Tura was perfect for such films. Her debut was in the small role as Suzette Wong in the Billy Wilder film Irma La Douce. While not the main role, her appearance was enough to get her noticed by more filmmakers and producers alike. She had a brief role as a stripper in the film Who's That Sleeping in My Bed? She also appeared as a showgirl on the TV series The Greatest Show on Earth. But perhaps one of the earliest roles to showcase her talents was in the 1964 episode The Finney Foot Affair in The Man from UNCLE. She played a character named Tomo, and this was one of her first speaking parts. It was clear she was destined for more than supporting roles. She had to become the star of a feature-length film. Her fate changed in 1965 when she was cast as Varla in the now cult classic sexploitation film Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, directed by Russ Meyer. Meyer made many over-the-top sexploitation films, which became huge hits and are now widely regarded as classics. Many great directors like Quentin Tarantino and Pedro Almodovar have cited Meyer as an inspiration. And as one can expect, anyone who starred in a Russ Meyer film was bound to become a star. And that's exactly what happened with Tura Satana after the film released. While Meyer was known to be a rather strict director, Tura wasn't afraid to challenge him and offer her own input. In fact, against his orders, she even had an onset affair with the assistant cameraman, Gil Hampson. But her stubbornness didn't affect her relationship with Meyer, and the two clearly loved working together and had great chemistry. Varla is arguably one of the best characters to feature in an American B-movie, and Tura Satana became an icon for women in film. 
In the film, she was tough and beautiful, a combination that was becoming increasingly popular among female characters in the 60s and into the 70s, particularly with black exploitation cinema. Four years later, she acted in the exploitation film The Astro Zombies, directed by Ted V. Mickles. Her character, Satana, was a supporting character, but she managed to steal the show and was still a huge star. While critics have dismissed the film, with some deeming it as the worst film ever made, it remains a cult classic. In 1973, Tura rejoined Ted Mickles and appeared in the film The Doll Squad. This was a huge hit among B-movie fans, and it's often touted as the inspiration for Charlie's Angels. Tura retired from acting following this film, but even in her short career, she had become such a huge star that she made cameo appearances in the 2000s. She appeared in a remake of The Astro Zombies in 2004 called Mark of the Astro Zombies. She appeared as a judge in the exploitation film Sugarbox, which was inspired by many of the great exploitation films of the 60s and 70s. Her final film role was in Astro Zombies M3 Cloned, which was released in 2010. She would often make appearances at conventions and events to discuss her life and career. And till the day she died, she remained a sex symbol. Tura's Life and Legacy While not much is known about her personal life as her stardom grew, it's clear she had a few tumultuous relationships. She was shot by a former lover following the release of The Doll Squad. She luckily survived, but decided to step out of the limelight. She spent a few years working as a dispatcher for the LAPD. In the early 80s, she suffered from severe back injuries due to a car accident. She spent several years in and out of hospitals to treat her back. She had two children from one relationship and was married to an LAPD officer for almost 20 years until his death in 2000. She died February 4, 2011 in Reno, Nevada due to heart failure. She was 72. She was survived by her daughters and sisters. While she's most often associated with Russ Meyer, she only appeared in one of his films. But it was his biggest and he often gave her the credit for its success. He later stated he regretted not hiring her for more projects. Oh, and by the way, if you're a fan of Tura Satana, there's an upcoming film about her life based on her own memoirs. It's written and directed by Cody Jarrett, who directed Sugarbox. Keep your eyes out for the film. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you remember Tura Satana? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Faxverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.